Finally here at 530 NASCAR roaring back into the Queen City this week. So how do you hype up another race in the hometown of racing? NBC Charlotte's Mike Hansen says you completely change the rules and get a bunch of stars to drop off a building. This is true NASCAR excitement. A parade unlike any other riding through Uptown Charlotte today. I'm hoping that since you're with me, we won't get a ticket. <laughs> I think we can work on that. Mayor right, Vilyles right. admits she doesn't know everything about racing, but she does know economic impact. And we all know that racing makes Charlotte a special place. The Bank of America Roval 400 gets going this weekend, and NASCAR is bringing a race to Charlotte no one has ever seen before. We've combined our legendary oval with a new world-class road course throughout the infield, and the fact that the race is in the playoffs, that's going to make it that much more fun for the fans. I'm going tomorrow to get tuned up. The Roval is also new for drivers like Eric Jones. There's a lot of very slow and technical sections, and there's also a lot of very high speed and, and fast sections, which make it challenging as a driver. After a few laps around Uptown, it was time to go over the edge. Stars of the sport rappelling down this building to raise money for children in need. Well, it makes me feel really good knowing that we've already raised $170,000 and it's climbing. Hall of Fame racer Rusty Wallace knows thrills, and this was one of them. You know, the most nerve wracking thing is when you're at the very top and they get you all hooked up and they tell you to put your feet against the building and lean back and trust in everything. New ways to hype up the fall race, driving excitement to new heights. Mike Hansen, NBC Charlotte.